Happy Easter, Misfit Nation. Welcome to another Misfit. We'll call it a Misfit 90 today because I think we'll run a little long. So watching Blues Brothers, I haven't seen that movie in years and I literally had to hit pause and uh, shoot this because it just astounded me. What astounded me was the celebration of African American culture. And it's, it's, it's weird. In the 80s, it brought the country together. I don't know if you know this, the Blues Brothers, uh, Dan Aykroyd and John Belushi, they were literally on the number one show, SNL, they had a number one song, Sweet Home Chicago, and they had the number one movie, Blues Brothers, at the exact same time. I mean, this was a phenomenon. Everybody loved it. And I think it was because it wasn't just two guys that were misappropriating or mis, you know, was, was appropriating culture. They were rejoicing in it. I mean, we had Aretha Franklin and James Brown and she was Cab Calloway doing a, a, a mini the Moocher. I mean, it was really a celebration. And it, I don't understand why today we're unable to do that. I think we should all take a, a note from the Blues Brothers. Take some time. It's on Peacock, BT Dubs. Um, take some time. Watch the Blue, Blues Brothers and see that we're not so different. That we can take from each other our cultures and share that was what this country was founded on, the Great Melting Pot. And it existed somehow in the 80s, but now it seems we're too divided. It went from being a melting pot to, um, I don't know, like a, like a salad where you have your croutons over here and your lettuce over here, and now it's all kind of in the same bowl, kind of. All right, thank you for joining us. Like us on Facebook, share us on Twitter, go to our YouTube page. As always, leave a gift in the comment section. We'll add you to this week's prayer list. Oh, by the way, inside joke for my uh, Chicago friends, there's a scene with the jewels. Not not a Jules Osco, a Jules. All right, bye.